Do a hat? No hat. I don't want her to show off my Oh, the new tie? My dog, it looks like a dog just bit my hair <laughs> off. <laughs> today, we got Mr. Nelson here. Action. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, I'm, today I'm in uh, head face, skin face. Don't touch the eyebrows, please. What's going on, Fader Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy Nelson here on the chair, and I'm gonna be breaking down my step by step process on how to do a skin fade with the trim on top. If y'all enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what y'all did or didn't like about the video so I can better help y'all on my next tutorial. And also, before y'all start, I mean, before y'all start, <laughs> y'all are gonna be cutting it. And also, guys, before we start, make sure y'all don't forget to check out fadedculture.co where y'all can pick up some faded culture gear. Straight razors are on there, our shears, and some barber capes and barber smocks as well. So, with that being said, let's just get right into this video. All right, so a few people have been asking me to show y'all the process on how to create a line and then fade as I go up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for this tutorial. So here, all you're gonna wanna do is create a guideline and then blend it out. And I'm gonna just show y'all how I do that right here. We're gonna create that drop fade effect. And all I'm gonna do is create my first guideline right here with my trimmer and then just, just kind of make sure that that guideline kind of drops as I reach the back. And then make sure that it ends up at the opposite side, but right here in the same spot from where we started. All right, so here I'm gonna just go ahead and create my first guideline about a pinky finger in width with that clipper lever all the way open. All right, so now that line that we created, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking it out with the clipper lever all the way closed. And if you notice the clipper all the way lever closed did not completely take it out so i'm gonna go ahead and open that lever halfway to finish taking out right there that line that we created then you're just going to repeat that exact same process on the back side and on the right side as well until that first line is completely blended out go ahead and lay down my next guideline about another finger in width with that one guard lever all the way open. All right, now here you'll be able to see that line that you just created. And now to take that one out, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize my half guard with that lever at that three fourth spot. Position that lever right in between the lever open halfway and all the way open. And just like the previous line, this one didn't, this guard didn't completely take it out. So now what I'm gonna do is take off the guard, still leaving that lever on that three four spot to finish taking out that line. Then I'm gonna just proceed by doing the exact same thing with taking out the rest of that line that we created. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I don't think a number two guard with the lever open will cut, but that's typically what I would use next to create my next guideline. I'm gonna still use it just to kind of go over it and see if, just in case like we cut off any little uh, hairs that might be sticking out, especially towards the back, you'll see that we, we're not gonna need it as much. that number two barely cut on the sides and the back it didn't really cut anything but now all we have to do is take care of blending out this guideline that you see right here i'm gonna start by taking it out using that one and a half clip with that lever position at three fourths and for this guideline guys just like the rest of them it's gonna take two guards this one with that one and a half at three fourths and you see how it didn't completely take it out so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the number one guard, still leaving that lever at three fourths to finish taking out these little dark areas that were left behind. Yeah. All right, so now that I'm pretty much done with taking out most of the guideline, now I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the dark areas. This is what we call the touch-up work. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on that half guard. I'm gonna position that lever at that three-fourths spot and see if I could take out most of the dark areas that you see here. Just kind of utilize that lever as much as possible. If I need to open and close it in certain areas to better blend out that hair right there, then that's what I would do. All right, so now that I'm done with the fading steps on the side, I'm gonna move forward and start trimming the top with my shears. First, just dampen the hair really well. The more saturated the hair is, the easier it is to kind of section out any kind of sections that you pull out. Now that we've cut down the middle, we're gonna move forward and start trimming this side of his hair. And now that this side's done, we're gonna move forward and do the same thing on this side of his hair. Now that we're done with that scissor trim up top, I'm gonna go ahead and re-dampen the hair, apply my product onto the hair, and then blow dry it into the desired style that we want. Make sure you really work that product down to the root of the hair. That way when we blow dry the hair, you're able to mold the hair into whatever direction that you want really well. For the blow drying process, all you're gonna wanna do is put your airflow at high speed with high heat and try to dry at least about like 90, to 90 to 95% of his hair. As you reach the top of the bottom of the hair, just kind of flare out so that you can leave it a little darker, therefore creating that other guideline to better help you understand how high to come up with that electric shaver.
Now I'm gonna just go ahead and just, uh, with my straight razor, clean up these arches right here. Now for this, I am gonna use our very own Turkish razor. We do have the swing lock for those that prefer the swing lock razor. Uh, we'll have, we do have those at fadeculture.co if y'all like that kind of razor. I prefer this one, the Turkish razor right here, where all you do is snap a blade and kind of just slide it in there in the front. For the Turkish razor, I like to kind of just snap the sides off of this razor and just kind of slide it in. All right guys, so that pretty much sums it up for this haircut tutorial on a skin fade with a little trim on top. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Here's the before and here's the after. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If y'all did, please, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what y'all did and didn't like about the video. And also maybe drop some suggestions on what other type of videos we should drop on this channel. But with that being said, guys, my name is Sergio Barron. This is Fader Culture, and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Peace.